over in Tunisia, we finally see um, Algeria and Libya being able to delete this absolute monster. Um, although this, although Tunisia is able to keep their occupied territory, the country is completely wiped out and is being controlled by a puppeted government. Um, with this, um, after capturing their coast, Algeria and Libya are finally just glad to be done with this freaking country. So what Libya decides to do with their side, even though they can't really get to it yet, um, is it they decide to create a puppet out of it, while Algeria plans to annex this region and make this part a puppet. So with this, we now have a, like, joint occupied area, and there's someone still mowing outside of 57 degrees, 6, 12 p.m. For God's sake. What is this? Like, freaking Mississippi, for God's sake. So anyway, so we see Tunisian forces still being able to push Libya somehow, push through Libya somehow, and we have, um, Moroccan forces helping out, um, the cause, um, by, by connecting with the Tunisian front lines to sort of save them, um, you could say. So with this, they are able to fortify the front as well. So with this, we, um, are going to see the push into Tunisia, um, which is mainly going to be carried out by Morocco and Tunisian forces. Um, we see Tunisia, um, getting, um, the Algerian zone of Tunisia being pushed into first. Um, and we continue to see the rebirth of the country. We also see, um, one from the southern, we also see a southern flank, um, which is able to connect with, um, a Libyan zone and a puppeted Algerian zone. Um, with this, it, this part is eventually encircled, leading to the total encirclement of, um, the rest of, uh, the rest of, uh, of this Algerian part, while I can't speak. Um, Tunisia is set up, and now they're starting to push into the, um, Algerian puppet, which is trying, which surrenders very quickly. Um, so with this, the red team, um, and the blue team are getting extremely exhausted, although Botswana is, um, providing the most aid, as they're the, one of, basically, one of the richest countries in Africa, only being outdone by multiple islands and Equatorial Guinea. So with this, um, we see Tunisia pushing down and taking out the rest of the, um, red team forces and reconnecting with their soldiers, being able to, um, provide vital resupplyment. Back over in Sudan, we see even more um, Sudan continuing to fall even more, um, and eventually it's nearly com and completely deleted. Um, after more territory is taken, um, the the country surrenders. Wow, nice voice crack there. Um, although this there is multiple partisans and other rebels in the country, so it's going to be staying red. Although Richa is able to push out complete to push them out completely. And Eritrea even decides, you know what, frickin', I'm gonna annex some land, because just, why not? They're not gonna know, hopefully. So with this, Eritrea, the lands that Eritrea decide to take is, uh, this, um, weird, funky little bit of land right here. And now Tunisia has even more access to the Red Sea. So with this, we see the annexation of the, of the region. I don't even know if this is a region, just part of a region, I guess you could say, but whatever. Um, but that doesn't matter. Um, Ethiopia is, um, this also does solidify Ethiopia staying neutral, um, as South Sudan is about to make their conquest into Kenya. Before they can do this, though, successfully, Kenya decides to conquest into them, so we got a bit of a reverse card right here. Um, so with this, we see the push-up and the cutoff of South Sudanian forces, which is now just called Sudan, so, yeah, get used to that. We also see two more, um, further encirclements until South Sudan gathers their forces and pushes through, um, pushes them out. Eventually, this leads to South Sudan gathering their forces yet again, um, and pushing down into Kenya. Um, this, le this leads to the quick capture of their capital, which I don't actually know what their capital is, but screw it. it let, let's just say it's right here, even though it's definitely not. So they take it. Pretend they do, okay? With this, they're able to capture the, the Kenyan president, I think. I don't know. Might be a dictator, might be a monarchy, who knows. Um, so with this, we see the cap, the capturing of the country. With this, the red team's just done. They surrender. I'm done with this video as well. But now we got to completely butcher the borders or make them even better, who knows, at this point. So now we're going to be see, um, so now um, we're going to be focusing on Sudan first because it's going to be the easiest. So the group, the groups um, right here are given, um, 
these territories, there's about seven of them right now, so, uh, this is really uneven, but who cares? Um, and the reach should kind of get screwed because they lose some of their land here, but whatever, they take it back eventually. Um, and because there's still someone mowing, 6.17 p.m. Um, with this, we have Digibooty and Arichia designed to just unite, because why not? Easier to do. Um, dear God, what are they freaking doing out there? Um, we see, um, Tunisia being awarded for their efforts, and they get all of Libya. Don't, don't, don't question it. We also see Israel, um, getting all of Palestine and all of Lebanon. Yeah, you forgot they were even in the war at this point, probably. We also see um, Morocco getting all of Western Sahara, so yeah, no more dispute, I guess. We also see them um, getting a huge chunk of Algeria. We see Tunisia getting a chunk of Algeria. And we also see um, a, Moroc a Moroccan puppet right here. Um, we see a, a Tunisian puppet. And the rest is a, just a conjoined puppet of them both. Um, over in Southern Africa, we, we see absolutely nothing except Mozambique getting Swaziland. And then I'll decide, you know, frick it, let's just unite and become states. So, yeah, that's the video. I'm done.